Prince George may grow up comparing his life to Archie and Lily's, looks like more fun. Prince George may grow up comparing his life to the ones of his cousins Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana and think it looks like more fun than the role he has been destined to fulfill, according to a campaigner. Republican Graham Smith has outlined one of the possible consequences Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's exit as senior royals will have on the future of the royal family. The campaigner believes the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's children will provide a different example of life experiences to Prince George than the one he will go through. The CEO of Republic, which campaigns for the election of Britain's head of state, told Express.co.uk, if you look at Prince George, he will start to grow up looking at his cousins across the Atlantic thinking that looks like more fun than what I'm supposed to be doing, which is attending church services, wearing uniforms and waiting for my dad to die so that I can be king. Meghan and Harry, Mr. Smith believes, also have more grip than the firm on the themes that interest and resonate with the younger generations. This is because the Duke and Duchess of Sussex publicly addressed these issues, some of which are political and therefore off-limits for working royals. He said, the zeitgeist at the moment is all about Black Lives Matter, Me Too, mental health, and Harry and Meghan reflect quite a bit of that in some ways. Of course they are still privileged and very wealthy and protected more than the rest of us, but in the popular imagination I think they reflect a lot of those issues in a way that resonates with younger people and the royal family has come across as staid, immovable, inflexible and disinterested. When asked whether Kate and Prince William's work and campaigns on mental health could help the royal family become more relatable to younger generations, Mr. Smith replied, to some people I think, but I think Meghan and Harry are very different to William and Kate. I think the fact that they have left, the fact that Meghan isnt an English aristocrat, that she is American, that they have gone to the States, creates a different image. It's all very well William getting involved in these issues but first don't think it's going to make a whole world of difference. He still comes across as his father's son and I think that that will always be the case. Mr. Smith also claimed Her Majesty is the last true believer in the monarchy. He said, the Queen in a way is the last true believer and the rest of them are sort of playing around, sort of trying to ape what she did and I don't think that's going to work. Mr. Smith's takes on the future of the monarchy have been slammed by royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams. Speaking about Prince George's possibility of growing envious of the life his cousins may lead in the US, Mr. Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, it is ridiculously early to pretend to know how Prince George will feel about the lifestyles of his cousins Archie and Lily, who, we must assume, will be brought up in California. A sense of duty and commitment to service is indeed required of a future king and George has the Queen and George VI, his great-great-grandfather who was renowned as a symbol of national unity during the war, as remarkable and universally admired examples to follow. The British monarchy, the commentator continued, has shown its ability to adapt to changes through the decades.
He said, the monarchy has shown a remarkable capacity to reinvent itself and adapt to changing times. The Queen's personal popularity is indeed undoubted, her longevity has led to Charles being the longest-serving Prince of Wales in our history, after him, comes William and then George. It is farcical to anticipate the future in this way and it is worth remembering that the monarchy has lasted over 1,000 years with the interregnum of the Civil War and polls show it is still extremely popular. A YouGov poll carried out between March 12 and May 7 on 4,997 British adults showed the majority of the population still overwhelmingly supports the monarchy. Asked do you think Britain should continue to have a monarchy in the future, or should it be replaced with an elected head of state, 61% of Britons across all age groups responded in favour of the monarchy, 24% said to want an elected head of state and 15% said they didn't know. However, people aged between 18 and 24 showed to be more in favour of a republic than the monarchy, with 41% of the youngsters saying they wanted an elected head of state against 31% supporting the monarchy. The support for republicanism in this age group appears to have grown over the past two years, as a similar YouGov poll carried out between October and November 2019 on 4,870 UK adults showed. Forty-six percent of young people surveyed two years ago backed the monarchy while twenty-six percent said to be in favour of a head of state, the remaining twenty-eight percent responded they didn't know whether they favoured a monarchy or a republic. Older age groups remain firmly in support of the crown, in particular people aged fifty and older.